Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. We are back with another video. If you're new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning guest, you know how we do kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. This video is under the Fair Use Act, and the Fair Use Act is in the description box of the video. The Fair Use Act is used to educate you guys on what we are covering on this particular platform. Please keep in mind that this video and all my videos are allegedly as well as educational purposes only. So I came across this particular TikTok and this channel goes by the name of YouTuber Headlines. I don't know if she have a YouTube platform, but that's the name that I'm seeing on TikTok. And so this particular video this was Gypsy's live, in fact, the other day. And, um, listen, now it's making a lot of sense. And so Gypsy going to detail into how exactly, allegedly, she ended up being pregnant by Ken. Now, those of us that got common sense, you know, we would have went to the doctor, you know, got what we need to get or hear, and we would have thought twice about doing something without protection because, number one, either you wasn't ready to be a parent, you wasn't sure what was going on with your health, or whatever the case. But in this particular incident, Gypsy took all the results or whatever the case that the doctor had given her, and she decided that she could not get pregnant or that it would take a lot to get pregnant. Any event, if you're not sure what's going on with your body, and, and let's go further. If you just broke up with your husband. Now, I don't know when the last time her and Ryan were intimate. But, like, when do you take time to heal and cleanse your body? I, I, I just don't get that about people. I don't get why people don't care about their health. I don't get why people go from this person to that, that person. And even under 30 days or, 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 or some four days, two days. I don't know. But I'm going to let Gypsy explain to you guys exactly what happened. When she went to the doctor's office, she gave me a blood test. We did a, we did labs to see if I was ovulating on a regular basis. And so when I get the results back, she's like, "Chances are you weren't you're not ovulating on a regular." And so I'm like, "Okay, what what does that mean?" Um, and so I also had an abnormal pap smear as well. So I had a lot going on at that time um, with, with down there. So I thought I couldn't get pregnant. So whenever Ken came to visit me, I'm like, chances are this unlikely to happen. I've got too much going on right now. I'm going to have to be on a medication to make me ovulate because I'm not already ovulating on a regular, regular, so I wouldn't worry about it. So we didn't use protection. I thought that... I just thought that I couldn't get pregnant or at least it was going to get, it was going to take a lot for me to get pregnant um, by use of medication. On April 5th, they gave me a pregnancy test because they're not going to perform rhinoplasty on someone that is pregnant. So they gave me a pregnancy test on April 5th and it came back negative. So I was not pregnant when I had rhinoplasty. Um, again, another yeah, hint of why Ryan is not the father. But, you know, the timing, if, if everything is taken into account, the timing is very clear. Ken is the father. I went to a confirmation appointment for my pregnancy. And so at, the, at that appointment, I had seen a different doctor. And the doctor that I had seen looked at those test results from the labs before. And she's like looking at it, and she's like, well, this would have been a difference in opinions with between me and the other doctor. Um, I would have looked at, and this is her talking, I would have looked at these results and said you are ovulating. Anything over this amount of percent or pointage, you were ovulating. And I'm like, well, the other doctor said that I wasn't. So, was I or wasn't I? Clearly I was, because I'm pregnant now. And um, that that's what happened. Fertility. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm hoping you guys get a clearness of that video. 
because of the way that I am transferring into this particular device. Okay, so now the first doctor told her that she wasn't ovulating. She went, she did, whatever, whatever. The second doctor said, well, I'm going to have to disagree with that doctor. But if you're not sure what's going on with your body, and you're apparently looking and seeking to get pregnant is the only reason why I would be questioning these kind of doctors and talking about ovulating and things is if you were planning to have a baby or wanting to get pregnant. Is that me or is this? Stay with me, guys. And so after all this being said, the, sec said, the second doctor says, well, I think that you are ovulating. Then she mentioned the rhinoplasty that they gave her pregnancy test, so forth and so on. Okay, but why would you want to jump right in the sack with someone without using anything? Like, everybody knows that nine times out of ten, those tests could be off for allegedly educational purposes only. So why would she even go forward and try to have unprotected whoop de whoop? Not even sure what's going on with her body. So I'm feeling like she knew just what she was doing. And she set Ken up <laughs> to be the fall guy. <laughs> just like she did Nicholas. Right? Allegedly. And the other thing that interests me, right? So she went to one doctor. She went to the other doctor. They had different opinions. Her mother took her to one doctor. She didn't like what they said. She took her to another doctor. So are we seeing like a pattern? Like... Stay woke, guys. Are we seeing like a pattern? Did Gypsy develop a lot of her mother's ways? Because it seems to me, and I'm still going to say allegedly, educational purposes only in fair use act, that Gypsy knows exactly what she was doing and who she intended on getting pregnant by. Not only that, that she took to take to a million people. Um, I don't know how many million because I really don't tap into her personally like that. But to get there and admit committing adultery, admitting cheating on her husband, admitting all these things in the process of a divorce. Now, I don't, I, I don't know, you know, her money status or, or, or the lawyer or whatever that she has. But I do know that in any state, Ryan gets the win. And I absolutely would take whatever is due to me, considering that she is doing nothing other than a smear campaign towards Ryan. Okay? She's admitting cheating. She's admitting going to the doctors and, and, and second opinions and all these different things. So I might have not been faithful in my marriage. Well, <laughs> why would we believe that you were faithful anywhere else? No, I'm just saying. And, and and listen, I have to be honest. Sometimes marriages don't work out. Sometimes things happen. Yep, absolutely. I can sit here and agree to that. But what I am saying is the sheet and put just go. Just go. Just go if you feel like this is not it. So when she was sneaking out or, or, or allegedly cheating with Ryan with Ken. At any time where she's coming back and still sleeping with Ryan, like people do not care about their health. That is like the lowest thing to unwillingly have somebody to participate in your field. Anyway, y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious as to how you guys feel about this back and forth to the doctor about trying to figure out, can I get pregnant? Can I not get pregnant? And then voila, it's Ken's. Share the video, love on those that love on you, and be blessed. Peace.